What happened to his hair? Jeff Stone here with day 51 of the year 2016 at magicreview.com. The more astute of you will recognize that it's really more like day 57 or something like that. But we're doing some a little, a little bit of retcon. That's retroactive continuity. I don't know if that quite applies here, but time traveling. How's that? So I'm filming a whole bunch of these videos late, but I will be backdating them on my site. So it will look like I posted it on the day it was supposed to. So you're going to get like seven or eight videos all at once. Like it. Love it. Want some more of it. Today on day 51, we're looking at Elit by Peter Egg Inc. <clears throat> so uh, here's the deal on this one. First, let me tell you the effect. Borrowed bill. A card is selected. And then that borrowed bill, which never leaves sight, it's not switched, it's not put in your pocket, it's not hidden, it is the bill that you borrow. Um, you hold a lighter up to it or something like that to, so you can see through it. And watermarked in that borrowed bill is... Um, a, a watermark of the selected card. Um, that's the effect. And the bill can be handed right back to the spectator. They can keep it. It's theirs to have forever. The watermark will be there forever. In theory. But. It's a dud, guys. Doesn't work. Basically you're getting a chemical that you are able to, in a very secret, very sneaky, clever way, put on the bill that is shaped like the selected card, and it makes the bill basically transparent so that it looks like a watermark. And it looks very much like a watermark if it works. But it don't work, folks. Um, so how do I know that it looks like a watermark then? Jeff, how do you know that? Well, because I soaked some paper uh, in this chemical, um, I'd, white paper, just blank paper, and after soaking it for a minute or two, I was able to finally get it to make the paper transparent. But at that point, it was so transparent that you didn't have to hold it up to the light. You could just see it. <clears throat> so... I tried this out on a couple of different bills, on an old new bill and a new bill, and it just absolutely did not work. Not at all. You could not see it at all. And it's a bummer because everything else about it, you know, except for the one and critical thing, does it work? Everything else works. I mean, I mean, conceptually. So what I mean by that is the method for getting the stuff onto the bill is brilliant. It's so simple and so easy, and it's really good. But... Getting the stuff on the bill is pointless if the stuff doesn't do what it's supposed to do while it's on the bill. And that's what we got in this case, folks. So, I don't know what else to tell you. This might be the shortest review in the history. Bottom line is, you know, you guys come to me wanting to know if the effect looks as good as they say. And it don't. It do not. Um, so, um, you know, for the grammar Nazis out there, I should have said it doesn't. But I was having fun there. Okay. Anyway, that's it. It does not work. One star, stone status of rubble. I don't know what else to tell you guys. For 35 bucks, you get a gimmick, some chemicals, and um, a trick that you can't perform because it doesn't work. Now, I will say he was using. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not familiar with foreign currencies. I don't know them very well, but I think he was maybe using euros. Um, and I. I, I mean. I, I don't know Peter Egink. I don't know as far as I know he's a decent guy and I don't I don't think he's a um a, a dishonest person. I do think however he has on more than one occasion rushed a product to market that wasn't quite ready. Um his effect mentalist comes to mind. I think it's mentalist. I think that's what's called the one with the tic tacs where you have the spectator pour some out of their hand and you predict how many they poured out. Um, 
and his first version of Haunted that was put out by Paul Harris Presents was a terrible product. And so um, I don't, I, again, I don't think he's a, like a liar, a dishonest person, but I think he's not as careful as he should be. And I think this is a good example. This maybe it does work on euros. I don't know. I can't test it. I don't have any euros. Maybe it does. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to give the guy the benefit of the doubt and assume he's not a liar and that he's not just totally scamming everybody and trying to sell this thing that just doesn't work at all. Um, but that he just doesn't, it doesn't, maybe it doesn't work on American money or he said it does though. He said it works on any, anything made out of paper basically. Um, but it absolutely did not work on the money I had. Uh, it didn't even work on paper, like the on regular paper. So it just doesn't work. So I'm just going to assume that he just put out a product that he that didn't pass QC, quality control, and that he is, rather than being dishonest, he's just sloppy. I'm going to go with that one. Final verdict, one star, stone status of rubble. That is it for this one, folks. So now, after just barely six minutes... It is time for you to, I don't know, click that button if it's there, thumbs up this video, share it out to everybody you know on social media, and listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which is Have Faith by Charles Dudley. Um, I don't know who Charles Dudley is. I was at a record store, yes, record store, years ago. It was going out of business, and it was like it was a media store, but I mean, it had records, and they just had bins and boxes full of cassette tapes and stuff for like a dollar, and CDs for a dollar and fifty cents and stuff like that. And I saw this. He looks like a really young kid uh, named Charles Dudley, and it had uh, it was called Raining Guitars, and I'm like, oh, guitars, what, what? And so I picked it up and looked at it, and it, I just it just looked interesting to me. And so I bought it for like 50 cents or a dollar. And there is a lot of good stuff on this album um, of some unknown dude. Maybe maybe he's more known than I realize, but I never heard of him. But this one is called Have Faith. And it fits our review that I'm having faith that um, Mr. Egg Inc. is just a little sloppy and careless and not a liar. Hopefully that's the case. We don't need more liars in the world. We got enough of them. You know who I'm talking about. Anyway, tune in tomorrow, day 52, where we look at the smashed up box with a uh, cash converter. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. Peace out.